Ok, before we start today's Citroen Nintendo Switch emulator guide for a Windows PC, let me just say Happy St. George's Day to everyone in England. So anyways, what we are going to do today is set up the latest version of Citroen Switch emulator for you. So to do this, we're going to need the emulator itself, which is of course free. We're going to need some firmware, we're going to need some product keys, and of course we're going to need some games in either .nssp or .xci. I'm also going to be showing you how to include updates for your games too so first of all we're going to head over and actually download the emulator itself so we're going to go to this github page and we're going to scroll down and we're going to download citron windows canary refresh now this is on 0.6.1 any subsequent updates will likely be fine to use this tutorial for updates are just going to perfect the emulator itself so what we're going to do then is download that one and once you've downloaded it you'll get yourself a zip folder we're going to extract the contents of the zip folder inside we're going to find Citron Windows Canary Refresh. Just drag and drop that one onto the desktop. Once that's been extracted, we're going to delete the zip folder which we've just downloaded. Okay, if we open up the folder itself containing the emulator, here's what we've got inside. Now, first of all, I'm going to suggest go into the citron.exe. That's going to open up the emulator. Just create yourself a shortcut. So right click on that one, show more options. And from here, we're going to go to send to desktop create shortcut. And as you can see on my desktop now, we've now got easier access to the emulator. So what we're going to do then is open up the emulator for the first time. Just double left click on that one. Windows protected your PC. If this pops up, just go to more info and go to run anyway. Okay, so we've got a couple of things first to do before we start looking at games. So we need to install the prod keys. I've got product keys just here in a zip folder. What we need to do is just extract this folder. If we take a look inside, we got prod.keys and we got title.keys. Just extract that onto the desktop. Okay, once that's extracted, we can now take away the zip folder. And I'm gonna just pop that prod keys into the Citron folder. We also got a firmware folder, so let's just make a new folder again. So right click on desktop, new folder. And I'm going to call this one firmware. Okay, if we just drag and drop the firmware zip folder inside of that firmware folder, if we open up firmware, we're going to right click on that zip folder. And I'm using WinRAR to unpack this. I'm going to go to extract here. Okay, now we got our firmware. What we're going to do is just delete that dot zip folder. Okay, so let's go into the emulator again. So what we're going to do first of all is just go up to tools. We're going to go to install decryption keys. And from here, we're going to navigate to the product keys. And we're going to double left click on prods.keys. Decryption keys were successfully installed. Just OK this one. Next up, we need to install the firmware. So I'm actually going to move that firmware folder into the Citron folder. So inside of the Citron folder, we've got everything in here. So everything's nice and neat. We've got the firmware folder and we also got the product keys. So what we're going to do then is install that firmware. If we go to tools, install firmware, and we're going to navigate to the Citron folder. Here's my firmware folder, select folder, and we're going to wait for this to install. Okay, so that's now been installed and everything's ready to go. So before we add any games, let's take a look at the game, what I've got. I've got Super Mario Bros. Wonder. I've got the main base file for this, which as you can see is NSP. And we've also got an update file for this, which is 51.6 megabytes. It's just an update file, like I say. And this is also in .nsp. So what we're going to do with that games folder is just drag it in with the firmware and the product keys folders inside of the Citron folder. So there we go. Everything's together now. Now we're going to add that game into the emulator. So we're going to just double left click here. And we're going to navigate to the games folder, left click once on that, select folder, and there we go. We can now see Super Mario Bros. Wonder has now been added to complete with artwork. What we're going to do then is take a look at adding that file for the update. To do this, we're going to go to file, we're going to go to install files to NAND, into the games folder, and we're going to look for the update. So this one's my update, as we can see here, it the size on the right hand side, 52 kilobyte or so double left click 
Please confirm these sort of files you wish to install. So obviously this is going to apply for DLC for Switch games too. But we're just going to do the update for this guide. We're going to go to install. And that's it. We've now got Super Mario Bros. Wonder, which is now on update 1.0.1. Okay, so how do we add a controller to this? So what we're going to do is just go to emulation tab, configure. And from here, we're going to find various different settings here. We're going to go down to controls. I'm using an Xbox controller for this. Under input device, I'm going to look for my Xbox controller, Xbox One controller. And everything's automatically mapped out for me, as we can see. Now, if you want to manually make any adjustments to this, all you need to do is just left click on the button you want. And we're going to go to OK. And we can now use the controller itself to map this out. But like I say, and as you've seen, this has automatically done everything for me. We're going to go to OK once that's done. Now, let's boot up the first time. So if we double left click on the game. And we can actually make this into a full screen. If we go up to view and select full screen or F11. Okay, if I press the F11 button, just to exit full screen, if we go to file, we're going to pause the emulation to start with, and we're going to go to emulation, we're going to go down to configure, and once this is open, we can then start playing around with some video settings. If we go to graphics, we got V-Sync mode, so feel free to mess around with that if your game isn't displaying correctly. We also got aspect ratio just here. By default, this is 16 by 9, and this should really be left to 16 by 9 for Nintendo Switch games. We also got a Windows adapting filter, and what this one's going to do is add some filters to our gameplay. But to be honest with you, I think just leaving this on by Lilia is probably the best option, but that's up to you. We also got analyzing method. If we drop this down, we can pop on FX double A or SM double A. That's entirely up to you. And just remember, using video settings will take more oomph out of your computer. So just be very cautious of that. And just remember, after you've changed settings, just go to apply and OK. Now, at the bottom of the gameplay screen just here, we can actually change video settings here as well. Now, this is currently on Vulcan. But if we want to change the video driver for this, let's just close out of the game. Yes. And open up the emulator again. So now the game is stopped and we're back into the GUI of the emulator. We can now toggle between OpenGL, GLSL or Vulkan. So some games are going to run better with the Vulkan setting. Likely that's why that's set as Vulkan the default. Whereas some other games will run just fine with the OpenGL option. We also got docked in handheld mode. Now I find in docked mode for me games are looking a lot better rather than putting them to handheld mode. We also got the analyzing option just here whilst the game isn't playing. Now let's just say you need to take away the update file of the game that you've installed. You can really easily do this just by right clicking on the game. If we go down to remove, we can actually uninstall DLC from the game too. But we're going to uninstall the update. So we're going to go to remove installed update. Yes. And as we can see, we now have the update which is gone. So a little bit of useful information just there. And if you want to open up the game rather than going into the emulator GUI, we can actually make a shortcut of each game. So again, right click on it, create shortcut, add to desktop. Yes. And we can actually boot straight into the game without opening up the emulator. So double left click on the desktop shortcut. And there we go. And that's even going to launch us into the full screen mode too. Now, let me just remind you that this is going to act like a real Nintendo Switch. So, saving games is going to save automatically just like a real Nintendo Switch would. Yeah. 
And that's it for today's Citron Nintendo Switch setup guide for Windows PC. Please don't ask for any of the files used in this video. Of course, I'll leave a link for the emulator itself. But anything else, you'll have to use your own eyes and look for things yourself. And just remember, just play those games that you actually own. Anyways, if you liked today's video, hit notifications, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content here on my channel, just Jamie. That means you'll get notified every time I release a new setup guide. And it really helps out my channel too. Anyways, until next time, stay retro.